In this video, we examine 10 ways to improve an achromatic refractor telescope. Our first improvement involves blackening the lens. For this, you'll just need a Sharpie black permanent marker, and you'll carefully remove the primary lens and darken the edge all the way around it to reduce scattered light. Our next improvement involves flocking the tube. This is a self-adhesive material by a company called Scope Stuff, and you'll line the inside of the telescope with this and it knocks down reflections and boosts the contrast of your imaging telescope. And this also works for Newtonian reflectors. This is a fantastic product and it doesn't absorb any moisture whatsoever. You can get it in all kinds of measurements, so order what you need. Our third improvement is more of a necessity, and that's an extension tube. They come in 1.25 inch or two inch diameter and in most cases you're going to need a two inch long extension tube. Most refractors, especially when using a DSLR, don't have enough outward focus travel and that's how come you can't get stars in focus. So this is a necessity for anybody imaging with most refractors. Eventually comes the day when dew will ruin your night and this is a cheap product. Most of the time you can get these for around 20 bucks. The important thing is to get the power adapter that you need. I prefer the USB because in most cases you'll be using backyard EOS on a laptop or that sort of thing and you can power it directly from your PC rather than carrying a battery pack around or using your car. Only the most premium optics come straight out of the box with no field curvature. A field flattener is necessary for anybody doing any serious imaging at all and that includes refractors. The very nature of the lens and the refractor is that it's curved and your stars at the edge will demonstrate that. This product is by Orion and it's specifically for focal lengths between 400 to 600 and for f5 to f7.5 instruments. Now these are expensive, they're generally over hundred dollars but they're really good and this one in particular preserves your focal length. So an excellent product for fast refractors and an absolute must for imaging. A sturdy mounting should be priority number one. It far outweighs the importance of the quality of the telescope itself. Tube rings are a good way to accomplish this. Most cheap refractors come with a really small dove bar. By using tube rings, you can use a longer one and balance your system a whole lot better, especially with a camera attached to it. Having a solar filter available is just awesome. There'll be those weeks or days, nights where you can't get any good imaging sessions, but likely during the day you'll be able to catch the sun. Refractors are really high in contrast and excellent for seeing sunspots. I recommend the glass ones like this one. They last longer and are a lot safer. A quality finder scope is really important. It's going to make locating objects a whole lot easier. Stock ones are generally poor on the cheaper refractors and so are the mountings. It's really hard to keep them aligned. You might check out a Telrad. This is a really cool device. It's under $40. It doesn't magnify but it gives you an illuminated circle with a reticle. It's really cool. The absolute best filter I've ever used for knocking down color fringe in an achromatic refractor is the Bader Contrast Booster. It's an absolutely amazing product that darkens the background sky and almost completely eliminates color fringe. I've used quite a few of them and they didn't seem to work too well. Here you can see a CT80 shot of Orion and look at the color fringe in it. Next you'll see the Bader Contrast Booster and the effect that it has on the stars. It's simply amazing. I'm sure it's shifted towards the green yellow side, but that's easily correctable in your color balancing. Fantastic product, the best that I've ever found. 
Upgrading to a precision focuser will just make your life so much better. This is a GSO precision micro focuser. I have a review on it and this can be purchased for almost all refractors of all sizes. In the example video here I'm just using an ST80 by Orion and it's a really easy fit. They have sizing charts on their website but being able to find focus and not having all that slop in your focuser when you're doing imaging is just one of the best upgrades you can put on a telescope. I highly recommend it. Again this is GSO that's Guanxing Optical. Check them out online. That concludes my 10 ways to improve an achromatic refractor telescope. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional improvements that you would like to suggest, please leave them in the comments. I hope you have nothing but good luck and plenty of clear skies.